Jehovah's Witnesses, they translated, and the genitals were like those of donkeys. <laughs> and the emission was like those of horses. I said, now, your sister, your daughter reading that, if she thinks of God, Ma, tell me. Be honest. <laughs> if she thinks, I says, and the pricks were like those of donkey size pricks they had. And they bru bruised the teeth of the virginity. What is that? The clitoris was bruised with what? With your nose, with your tongue, what? What do you bruise it with? The donkey size genitals were like those of donkeys. And I said, now, we Muslims, we said, look, the Jews had all types of writing in Hebrew, you know? And there are the manuscripts, so different, different things written, the stories are written. Like to us now, anything that's written in Arabic, anything that's written in Arabic to my people in Africa, Muslims in Africa or Asia, anywhere, you throw this around and you watch. The Muslim child will find, see, pick it up, kiss it and put it away in the Quran or in the bag. Every Muslim child does it. Every old man. And young man, if he sees this in Arabic, he'll pick it up. But what is this? It could be Lady Chatterley's lover in Arabic. <laughs> huh? It could be a book of pornography in Arabic. The poor man doesn't know. He's taught to respect God's word. Because, because the only God's word we see is in that script, in this script. We don't see other writings, the non-Arab. We don't see anything we see in this script must be God's word. So we react, respond to that, like that. The Jew the same. You see, when they wanted to get things together, anything that was written in Hebrew was sacrosanct. What was that written in Hebrew? Anything, everything. Your personal jealousies. You know, everything came in. You read the book of Genesis, chapter 9, after the flood. You read there, uh, God saved Noah and his three sons, Sam, Ham and Japheth. Then they started to grow grapes. And out of the fruit of the vine, they fermented the wine. And Noah drank too much. Remember? Yeah. And he was lying naked. In his drunken state, he was lying naked. So, Ham saw his father's nakedness. And it was a big joke. You know, the old man sprawled out, you know, airing his uh, genitals. It was, you know, a big joke for Ham. But the other two sons, they felt ashamed of the father's condition. So they took a piece of cloth and they walked backwards. They don't want to see his condition. And they put it on him. The old man knew what was going on, but he was too different to do anything about it. You see, when he came into his senses, he started to curse. I said, Curse be Canaan, for a servant of servant thou shalt be unto thy brother. Remember reading that? Yeah. Chapter 9, Genesis. Curse be who? Canaan. Yeah. I said, Who is Canaan? I want to know from you. You are a man of religion. <laughs> I want a DD to tell me. I want to know who is Canaan. He said, no, Canaan was the youngest son of Ham. Ham had four sons, Push, Mizraim, Cush, and Canaan. I said, now this old man, when he comes to his senses, if what you say is true, then he leaves the culprit. <coughs> if in my anger, righteous indignation, you my son, if you did that, I might in my anger lose my sense of proportion. I said, you bastard, you ham and your children and your children's children will ever be slaves. I can do that. Any man can do that. You and your children and your children's children forever in my anger. You have no right to do that. That type of a curse. What's the, your children and your children's children for eternity? What have they done wrong that I should curse them? Hmm? But now, we can do it. You and I, we can do it. But to leave the culprit and leave the three other sons and pick the youngest of them, I want you to explain to me. What kind of a God is this? You inspire such a book. To say, leave the culprit, Ham. Ham saw his father. And now, if I told you that the guy who wrote all that was a master psychologist. So how do you know? I said, look, read it. Read the Genesis, chapter 9. And you see every time the word Ham occurs, it says, and Ham the father of Canaan. And again, mm -hmm. and Ham the father of Canaan. Mm -hmm. And Ham the father of Canaan. I said, what about the three other sons? Canaan is the youngest man. Why the father of Canaan? Why the father of Canaan? Why? The others are not mentioned. I want to know why. Because in your record it tells you, Ham had four sons. Cush, Mizraim, Put, and Canaan. That's the order. If God dictated that, that's the order of the birth. But the same God now tells somebody to write and says, no, 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 leave him out, leave Cush and Mizraim and put 
and only talk about Canaan, father of Canaan. Father, that means he's preparing you to think that Ham and Canaan are synonymous terms. So you think when Canaan is cursed, you think Ham is cursed. Ham is not cursed. Ham goes free, his other sons go free, it's only Canaan. Why Canaan? Because you had something personal against Canaan and his descendants. You, the writer. This is not God's word. God doesn't talk like that. So I said, come talk to me. You Christians, come and talk to me. I want to talk to you. Let's organize a meeting. If you have somebody who is really worthwhile, I am prepared to organize a meeting in King's Park at my expense. And we discuss, dialogue dialogue. You give me your point of view. For the same amount of time I give my point of view and leave it to God Almighty to guide the people to think what is right and what is No votes taken, no judgment passed, who won the debate like we did it with Swagat. I don't know whether you saw the debate with Swagat. Yeah, I'm sure about it, yeah. So I said, look man, we can get 40,000 people and I'm prepared to do that exercise for you. Get me a man, Bishop Hurley or the Bishop of the Methodist Church, or the Lutheran Church, or the moderator of the Afrikaans Church, get me anybody, man, who's got some value of his own. You see, you mentioned that, you know, as it's the great bender from Christianity, you pass it on to me, okay, and then humility, I said, look, whatever you think of me, may God make your words acceptable in his sight, whatever you said, but I am recognized as somebody in the world, as far as comparative religion is concerned. Right. I am a self-made man. But I want somebody with a name. He said, Mark, you gave the name. I said, no, not good enough. Mark, maybe you are better than the Bishop Tutu. You are better than Bishop Hurley, you know, in your knowledge of religion. You, my son, John. Maybe you can do a better job than Hurley. I believe that. No, no, I believe that. Because you have read, you studied, and you know, it's a part of you. So you can do a better job than Hurley. But it won't carry weight. When I spend 20,000, 50,000 rand to get 40,000 people there, mm. they won't come because of you. So who's this John fellow? And suppose you make a fool of yourself. They say, well, this, they just brought in a young Samad that paid you 500 rands, or a, fi uh, a thousand rands. Say, come, my son, make a fool of yourself. As a mark, come and I give you a thousand rand. Come and make a fool of yourself. That is what people are going to insinuate. Therefore, I said, get me somebody with substance, you know, who's got a weight in the community. No mind what a fool he is, that we are not worried about. <laughs> Bishop Hurley is Bishop Hurley, is not Mark so and so. Am I right, my son? Exactly. Huh? Right. Get me somebody like that and 10,000 for you personally, or your church. I give you 10,000 personally. You get me one of these bishops, any bishop, or a moderator of the Dutch Reformed Church, to come and have a dialogue with me in public. I give you personally. You, 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 you can give to the dog house. You say, I don't need money. I said, look, give it to the dog house, man. I give you 10,000 rand. I give it to you in writing if you like. I give you 10,000 rand. You, John, I give you 10,000 rand. Get me somebody big enough that he can attract people on his own merit. Mm -hmm. Then I'm also there. Instead of me doing everything and they all come for Didat only, I might get 20,000. But if you had another guy, he can also attract another 20,000. That makes 40,000. I said, my money is worth me spending that money. I want to do that. And I want you to help me, Mark. I want you to help me. Sincerely, I feel that I want your help. If you say, no, you can't get anybody, then there's something wrong with your religion. <laughs> no, no, that, that's the obvious thing. Yeah. If everybody is terrified of this old man here, there's something wrong with your religion. You agree? If everybody is terrified of me, I said, look, under control conditions there, we get a judge and retired judge to be the chairman and just introduce the speaker and he carries on you know for an hour and the other guy carries on for an hour and he says uh, in the form of a symposium and he says go home my children and go and think for yourself as God guides you go I am prepared to give